Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days of Dying. Thank you, guys. And something is falling. Something's trying to kill us. But thank you, guys. Ooh, it was a military dude. I didn't realize that. But yeah, thank you, guys, for tuning in to today's episode. And I appreciate you guys watching. We're gonna get into some, some needy greedy today, okay? First thing in Farmers, we have ourselves our first tier three nighttime quest, okay? Which is freaking amazing. We're gonna get a bunch of good loot. And look how far it is. It's in an area we have never been in before. So it's like a whole new town that we have to explore. That, and I also uh, would like to craft ourselves a new turret i think a new turret would be awesome this robotic turret here i think we have all the parts that we need to craft it so we're gonna definitely get onto that and i also want to start working on a motorcycle definitely want to get into that as well so we need for this we need to craft the motorcycle chassis and a motorcycle handlebars i don't think we'll be able to do all this today uh but let me see what we need actually oh we can't even make it so we need to have grease monkey yeah we need to have what are we right now we're level three maybe we can actually we need to be into like level six so let's do that boom and then boom now we can make motorcycles it's just that easy and we should probably also learn smg auto turrets shotgun turrets yeah we should probably also do this oh i can't i don't have any more points okay but yeah it's a good thing we got the motorcycle parts now oh we need forward steel okay everything else is easy we have everything else it's just a forward steel which how much do we need so we need 25 for the chassis and we need five for the handlebar. So we just need 30. And then for the motorcycle itself, it doesn't cost anything. So we need 30 forge steel. But I think all the forge steel we have now is gonna go straight into that turret. So we have a choice. We can either make the turret or we can make the motorcycle. Hmm. I think the turret is better because the turret is gonna help us with day 14 raid, right? So yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely just gonna go for the turret. Uh, I think the turret will help us out a lot more. Speaking of it, what do we even need for that again? <laughs> I forgot what we actually needed for this thing. Um, So we need four robotic parts, some duct tape. So where's our duct tape? We got the duct tape, nice. And then we need the robotic parts. Uh, Cool, nice. Then we need scrap polymore and spring. We got the spring and we need the scrap poly, which is right here. There we go. Our very, we can't craft it. Hmm. Oh, we got a craft in here. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Turret. Robotic turret. There we 10 minutes. Wow. That's going to take a while. But yeah, that is awesome. Now we have it. Kind of have it. Kind of don't have it. It's. It's on the works. It's, it's getting there. He's getting there. He's, he's getting there. He's getting there. All right, let's put all this stuff back into uh, its re respective locations. We got to mine iron, man. That's honestly what we might do today is mine a bunch of iron. Because I do want to make that motorcycle, especially for this nighttime quest. I just don't know. Wow, it's 1600. Wow. It's actually, it was just the morning. Like, I, I it was just the morning. I was like. Yeah, I might mine some iron, but bro, it's so close to being nighttime and being day 14 right now. Hmm. We might not actually be able to. I mean, we'll be able to mine like a little bit at least. Why not, right? Let's take you out. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to at least uh, like mine like a little bit. You know, it, it wouldn't hurt. At least actually like finding a node or something would be really, really good. I had thought I marked one before, but it seems like I haven't. Sometimes you can like notice them on the map a little bit from the dots. Um, like right here, I think that's one. I think the is it the white dots? It might not be the white dots, bros. It might not be the white dots, but I'm gonna go to it because it might be. I don't know. Quick waypoint. Yeah, let's let's go to this white dot here. It might be. At least we'll, we'll know once we get there. We'll actually know if it's the white dot or not. I'm like on the edge. I'm like 50 50 is the white dot. Like, part of me is saying, yeah, it's the white dot. And then another part of me is saying, no, it's not the white dot. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. Hopefully it is, though, because we need a lot of iron. Um, but at the same time, we do get a lot from mining. And we should maybe level up a little bit more of our strength. I mean, we're level four, so maybe not. I thought we were like level three. We're level four. Upgrading this might be good, though. What do we need for this? Level seven strength? Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to level up a lot. Hmm. Maybe not, actually. Maybe we'll just keep it like this. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, this is this. What is this again? This is nitrate. Okay. 
nitrate noted so yeah this is really good for gunpowder we'll need to do gunpowder but i think we already have a lot oh here's iron yeah, here's some iron so what does this look like on the map okay so it's just this this dot so i guess it's like the really thick black dots is iron and these like small ones are just like stone okay that's really good to know so i'm gonna mine it real quick and uh i don't know i'll come back when i get some action oh shit yeah we might leave I i'm gonna have to keep an eye on him um hmm. thirsty yeah we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on him we'll leave once he starts running towards us i'm a little bit bold i don't want to leave yet He's getting closer and closer. How much do we have so far? 700? See, yeah, we're not getting them at a bad rate at all. Which is a good thing. I don't know how much we need for it, though. I think it's like 35 iron for one. Um, and we also need a lot of clay, but I think it's like 35 iron for one of them. So there should be one right here. Yeah, 35 iron for one of the forged steels. And we need 40, right? We need like 40. So what's 35? 35 times 40. Quick math. I have no idea. No idea. But I'm, I'm guessing it's at least like a thousand, right? Right? What was that? Surprised there's not a lot of zombies near me, except the bear. Oh, cougar. Okay. Is that two bears? Bro, it's two bears. Okay, this is getting kind of crazy. It's getting kind of crazy. I'm more scared for the cougar since the, coo the cougar is closer. I'm more scared at the cougar right now. But I do got the pumpy. Last episode, we got the pump shotgun. Okay, make sure you guys watch that because that was lit. Last episode, we got the pumpy. So I'm a little bit bolder now. Okay, a little bit bolder. So what's my iron, guys? Please don't start sprinting towards me. Out of nowhere. I'd appreciate it. Where you at, Cougar? Alright. Gotta keep an eye on you. It'd be nice if I had a little bit better of a, of a pickaxe, too. We're at two grand right now. Holy sh... Cougar's winning for sure. Zombie can't even get a hit in. Cougar's just laying into him, bro. Oh, he knocked him down. Let's get a closer look. I got, oh, he died. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away inside of the base real quick. Just so it can start smelting. Um, and then we're going to go a little bit more south. Get out of this death zone of a cougar and two bears. Another cougar over there, bro. They're spawning a lot more now. Where's our house? Okay, we're definitely past it. <laughs> He's going in a whole different direction. But yeah, well, let's go a little bit south or north rather. I guess it's north. Let's go a little bit north. Get a little bit more of the stuff. While we're here, we can actually see what it takes for forge. So, yeah, it's 31. 31 iron for forge. We got, like, 2k right there. So, yeah, we'll, we might actually be able to uh, make the motorcycle before nighttime hits. Maybe. I don't know. That'll be close. Because we actually got to travel there, too. And it's, like, 800 away. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we're at 1800. I think around 1930 will be a good time for us to come back home. And, um put our all our iron away but it's a good thing that we put iron in there now so that I could just cook while we're out here mining so that's really really good let me make sure we got this right we did right yeah so it's the big the big black dots is the iron there's a lot of iron here too this is a good location a lot of iron no zombies so far that we can see yeah no zombies so far really good location so if it's 31 per 31 times 10 is 300, right? And we need 40. 3, 6, 9, 12. So we need 1,200 iron. So we got enough iron, but obviously we want more. You can never have more than enough iron. Never, ever, ever. Stuff will come in handy, especially with upgrading bases and everything. Come in handy. I keep watching. Gotta watch by 6, bro. Never know. Never know. I'll mine a little bit more, and I'll catch you guys later when, uh, when I get back to the base and... We started depositing this stuff. All right, so we're back home. 
what I, I got 2,000 more iron, and I think I'm just gonna put inside of our second force because this is gonna take a good little minute to actually um to actually burn through all that. And while that's doing that, we just double up on the iron making, get ourselves some forge still as well. Actually, the other one needs clay, right? So maybe I should just put some clay in there as well. We'll just do like clay and iron. Yeah, I think that'll be better. Um, how do I do this? There we go. There we go, that'll be good. That way you can like get clay and get iron at the same time and also make myself some forge steel. Right? I think that'd be lit. So this one's making what eleven so far? So we're we're pretty good on the forge steel. I think by the time it hits nighttime, we might be good. In the meantime, oh we leveled up. That's really nice. In the meantime, we should probably focus on getting the other materials for the motorcycle. I I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this, but I'm I'm definitely gonna try. We're gonna try. So we need duct tape, headlights, electrical parts, mechanical parts. Let's see if we got all of that. Um, we, oh yeah, we got the headlights. We got the mechanical parts for sure. We, we got the electrical parts right because we need six for that, ten of that. We need duct tape as well. Duct tape should be in here. No. In here. Do we not have? Oh, I have duct tape on me. Okay. Um, is that all we have? Just six. Wow, okay, yeah, we're gonna need more than that. Which is okay. We have the glue, and we also have cloth. So we should be able to just make this. Yeah. Okay, we can make like five. Uh, duct tape, there we go. All right, that'll be good. So, let's see, motor, cycle handlebars. Oh, we need 10, ooh. And we need duct tape for that. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more duct tape, which is good. It's a good thing we have bone. Yeah, so we can use this bone along with boiled water, I believe, to make glue. Oh, we need it in a chemistry station. We also need murky water, which we have, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. We're fine. Let me get this bone out of here. And this is the first time we're actually using a chemistry station. Fun fact. And we can't mix this. We need fuel? Oh, we need wood. Wow. Okay, there we go. Nice, so there's a glue. Which, that uh, that should cover us, right? Because we have, we need 10, we need 20. We need 20 duct tape, pretty much. So we got six in there. Oh, we got eight glue already. Wow, I didn't even know that. So we can make a lot more duct tape. Yeah, we're definitely good on the duct tape. All right, what else do we need then? We need leather, electrical. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're actually... Yeah, we can make this then, right? Only thing else we need is the engine check wheel two wheels. Do we have two wheels? Two wheels? Yeah, check. Yeah, we can make this motorcycle. Yeah. We just... We're just... It's just a time thing now. Pretty much. Yeah, it's straight up just a time thing. We just gotta wait until everything is done smelting. Which, I mean, we got two hours in game time. Which I'm hoping that'll be plenty of enough time for, um, for that to do what it needs to do. And here's our buddy! Here's our buddy. Okay, how do we use this? Oh, I forgot we have to craft the ammo for it too. So we place it down like this. Uh oh, we gotta okay. So um let's see ammo. So we need to make the robotic turn ammo, which is just iron. Awesome. Robotic turret shells. Is this the one? I think it is. Maybe we should make the shells. The shells take one iron versus this that takes three. So, let's see. Robotic. Here we go. Yeah, I think I want to make the shells versus the regular Daglers. Just because, like, I'm not going to craft shotgun ammo. Like, I'm not going to use shotguns as my main weapon, so I'm not going to craft shotgun ammo like that. I'm just going to use the shotgun ammo that I already get just from, like, adventuring out there, right? So, look at all these buckshots we have. We might as well use up a lot of these buckshots just to make this robotic uh, shotgun ammo, I think. And then we can put that inside of the... At least I think, think we'll be able to put it in there. Let's make sure first. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. Um, Yeah. So, I think we need a shotgun turret to do that. Which means we're just kind of... Let's make one of these before I say something like that. 
Can I reload you now? There we go. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, let's just make like, uh, I guess we'll make a hundred of those. And then we'll just have these on the, oh. We'll just have those on the side whenever we get ourselves a shotgun. A robotic shotgun thing. I want to see this guy in action. Is that a screamer? That is actually fine. I'm happy about that. Because I want to see this guy in action anyways with a bunch of zombies. Let's reload this. I wonder how much ammo can fit in here. Yeah, we're already at 31. That's good. We should probably make another one of these. I just don't want to go down there right now. Because, you know, zombies are about to start coming. Um, so, yeah. I guess we can, like, just place it here. Oh. Let's shoot this. Can't really aim really far with it. But I can shoot it. I can shoot it. How much ammo do you fill up with? 65. That's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Okay, let's see how this goes. How do I place it? There we go. That's not too bad, I guess. I mean, a turn is a turn, you know? That's not too bad. It's automatically killing everything, which is lit. I don't get experience from it, though. I wonder if I have to be a certain level of robotic in inventor, maybe? Yeah, I think I need this. Uh, let's level it up one time. Let's see. We get more meters, faster fire rate, deal 10% more damage. We can craft quality two robots. We should have leveled up first before we crafted a freaking robot, man. That's what we should have done. We should have did that. Yeah, and both of these don't activate at the same time either. Dang. But I think if we upgrade, or we level up rather, can we then? Oh, no, we can't. I don't think, because it says you can deploy multiple robots, but only the closest will be active. Yeah. Let's do it anyways. Yeah, so only the robotic sleds are active right now, but like, if I walk over here. Oh, no? Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Just a little bit confused. Um, maybe I have to pick it up and then... Oh, no, he ran out of ammo. Wow. You ran out of 65 ammo that fast. That's actually kind of crazy. I gave you 65 whole ammo and you ran out of it that fast. And I think I have to, like, keep on, like, reloading it, too. Like, I have to pick it up, reload it, and everything like that. Oh, that, that, that's a lot faster fire rate. Wow. And now I'm getting experience as well, which is nice. He's also a little bit more accurate, but he runs out of ammo so quickly. He runs out of ammo so quickly. Let's let's check up on the let's check on this stuff real quick. I gotta make sure that this is running all the time, full speed. Why? Oh, this doesn't have a crucible, huh? Wow. Okay, I just realized that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to make another crucible for this one for sure. Um, unless we just take the one out of this one and put it in the other one. I can't do that, huh? Yeah. Is it because this stuff is in there? No, that's not why. No. Yeah, dang. Wow. Um, oh, it's because it's crafting stuff right now. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, it's because it's crafting stuff right now. So I can't just like take it out and like go craft some at another uh another what you call it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So we'll just have to wait a little bit more for that and then we'll be able to make the We need to make it now though. It's 2200. It might be a little bit late on our date to the uh to the big boy. Yeah, we need to make this motorcycle like now, low key. Um I think at ah, I don't know. I, I guess at like zero o'clock or like twenty four hundred. Yeah, I guess at 2400, I'm just going to leave on a bike. If this doesn't get done fast enough. Because we still need 40. We only got 20 right now. And I can't make any inside the other crafter. But other than that, we have everything we need. We just need this 40. And then we also got to wait until... Yeah, we might as well leave now. Because we're going to have to wait until the motorcycle gets done. Uh, crafting as well. Which that itself is going to take a long time. So we might as well just leave right now and just go do the quest. Which is... Ooh. It's going to be a little risky. Hmm. I think we take the AK with us. I'm taking AK. I'm taking AK just for just for precaution. 
just in case. Nice little 150 bullets. You know what I mean? Just in case. I'm a little bit scared. I don't like being scared, but right now I'm a little bit scared. So we're just going to take it because we need to leave. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to not, not do this quest, you know? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and leave. We are 800 meters away. We're going to take the main road here. Now the question is, are we going to double do the quest? That's the question. Are we going to double do the quest? Huh? Don't know. I don't know the answer to that question yet. I guess it depends on like how big the house is or whatever. I kind of want to just for the lootage. You know what I mean? More loot, the merrier at the end of the day. I should have brought some more coffee with us too. It's a good thing I'm on this bike because that would have been a bad time to drink it. But I definitely should have brought more coffee. More coffee is better. But look at our infection. We're 25% infected, bro. We was at like, what, 70 or 80 before we got those, uh, before we got the, um, the vitamins? Not vitamins. What are these antibiotics? So yeah, that'll help us a lot. Because when we was at 70% infected, bro, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Are we already in a new town? Are we? Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're <laughs> we are far from it. We're still in our town. 500 meters. We're moving kind of fast, though. Only if we had the motorcycle, man. If we had the motorcycle, we wouldn't even have to, like, wait for our, like, sprint to go down or go back up. We would just be zooming through here. It would be so nice. And I think it's, like, a lot faster, too. I want a motorcycle so bad. I think this is the new town now. We're going through the wilderness. This is kind of scary. Should be fine. I, even even though we're slow, I don't think anything's gonna catch up with us. Only thing that I'm scared about is like a cougar or something. I don't know how fast cougars go compared to the bike. Like this zombie isn't even like, you know, there's a cougar. I'm not gonna test it. Definitely not gonna test it. I'm gonna zoom right past him. Hello. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, we can go this way. Yeah, we can go this way. Straight through here. All righty. Let me see. Let me see. It's a farm. Ah. It's a farm. Okay. We're at 2400, which means we'll have four hours to do this. Um. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. I just want to. I just want to do like a little bit. I don't want to do a lot of it. Just a little bit. I'm intrigued. All right. Interesting. So we're already at the roof. All right. When they're running, bro, it's crazy. Oh, he's still alive. When they're running, bro, it's a whole different ball game. Three zombies running at you, bro. You're not meleeing them. You are not meleeing them in a close quarter like area. It's just not happening. Not close quartered. Like if it's one zombie, sure. Like if you see them ahead of time, two zombies maybe. But three in a close quarter situation like that, no way you're meleeing them, bro. No way. No way. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of zombies coming at us in a minute. A lot of zombies. Just because of that, I think we activate the quest. Yeah, I think we activate the quest now. I don't I don't think we should risk it. I definitely don't think we should risk it. It's this way. Okay. I don't want to risk it and like get back out of here. And then next thing you know, um, I can't activate the quest anymore. Like that would suck really badly. We came all this way and we can't even do the quest. You know what I mean? Like that would, that would not be a nice. Fuck. Okay. 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 Whoa. whoa. Sir. See, this is why I love the AK. <laughs> this is why I love the AK, bro. This is the exact reason why I love the AK, okay? Let me tell you, we're not even like in the deep part of this house and we're just going off right now. If 
I had the melee on me, bro, I would not be able to handle this at all. Like, only using melee? Like, this is way too close quarters to be using melee weapon, bro. For real. I kind of just don't even want to use the melee weapon at this point. I kind of just want to go straight shotgun throughout this entire base. I keep focus right now. I'm hearing zombies all around me just breaking stuff. And I don't know where from. It's pretty scary. Ah, uh, the front door is down. That kind of sucks. I mean, zombies can quite literally come from everywhere. All right, so we got a downstairs area here. All right. I'm kind of just like rushing through this because I want to kill all the zombies. I want to complete the quest. That's the main thing I want to do. Loot later, complete quest now. Because I don't know if there's a time limit on like the quest or whatever. Do we go this way? I think we do. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Okay. Oh, my mouse isn't working. Holy. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's locked. This is unlocked. I'm going to activate it. I know it's going to fail on me and all the zombies are going to come. But I think I'll have enough time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five seconds. They all, they're all falling right now. I can hear them. All right. We're good. They're not getting through that mellow door at all. I almost shot the barrel. All right, my quest is complete. I just got to return to the trade at this point. So we could we could definitely do a lot of looting now. Let's see what we get out of this place. I saw like some boxes up here. Um. Oh yeah, I got it. I was like, um, how do I get over there? murky a lot of zombies around us right now a lot of zombies some parkour i can do this this is easy nice little jump ah here we go here we go and all the loot is ours let's see we got some shotgun parts okay some meds weapons Ooh. Ah, some more shotgun parts i guess it's good Eventually, eventually, maybe I might craft a shotgun. Maybe. I got a lot of shotgun parts, so I'll be able to. Ooh, shotgun turn schematic. That's a massive W right there. I'm actually about to look at how you can uh how you actually craft that. Another one. Wow. Oh, we got an automatic. We have all the turrets now. Except the flying one. But bro, we got an SMG one. So we need a motion sensor, which we already got the schematic for that. Handgun parts, probably already got that. Shotgun parts. Definitely just got that. 62 four steel. Okay. It's 40. Okay. Okay. I was I was excited and not then I then I saw the 62. 62 is wild. Wild. But we'll be able to. Submit mixer. I think we already have a submit mixer at our house. Now it's time for the big boy though. This was a W place. Honestly, we got we literally just got the shotgun schematic and the SMG turn schematic. Like in one spot. Like that's crazy. That is crazy. We're getting all the turns that we need. All of them. We're not going to be able to craft it for day 14 at all. But, like, still pretty good. That's not bad either. This is a really good base. Um, I do want to go back and loot the rest of that house, though. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to do that. I missed up on a bunch of loot. Just because I was, like, trying to complete the quest first. I gotta stay aware. My mouse is, my mouse, it might be going dead soon, bro. It's like, uh, it keeps turning on and off. It's a little weird. Oh, it's a good thing we run a shotgun with us. 
and the, and the assault rifle too. All right, let's loot. Uh, let's go ahead and start looting. Let's see if we can get some good stuff out of here. Where's is, where does that go? You guys think this is like a secret room or something? Oh man, you know what would be smart if I just did this instead? <laughs> like, why break the door when I could break the block next to it that has like a fraction of itself? Yeah, that just goes outside. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's see what's uh down, down, down. Let's see what we missed down in this place. Nah, there's nothing down there. Some gas. That'll be good for when we get the motorcycle because uh, we're definitely going to need some gas for sure. Right. Ooh. Oh. All right. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice to have. How do, Wait, is there two stairs? So we got this one. This one just probably goes outside, right? Yeah, that just goes outside. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so this place pretty much didn't have anything for the most part. All right. Nothing in here. That's locked. That probably goes outside. Maybe these these might have some schematics in them. Paper. I think that's good for bullets. Um, and we got batter up album seven. Probably just gonna learn that. Even if we've learned it before. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Ooh, we got a wall safe. This this might have something good. Last wall safe we opened, we got the AK, so. This one might actually have something good, hopefully. Fingers crossed that it does. I've had some good wall safe luck in my in my lifetime. All right, that's fine. I got 50 more, that's fine. All right, it's not gonna hurt me. Okay. I'm a little hurt, I'm a little hurt. I'm a little hurt, I'm definitely gonna unlock you though. I don't care how many times you break. I don't care how many times you break. You're getting unlocked today. Even if I have to beat you, bro, you're, you're getting unlocked today. Thank you. What did you have? Okay, that wasn't worth it, but, uh, I mean, 20, 20 ammo's not bad, though. 20 ammo's not bad, and we got more. I think that was robotic or shotgun, um, parts. Yeah, we got baton, actually. Baton parts. Okay. Maybe not worth it at all. I'm thinking about it. Um, but we got it. We got it. Um... Not much of anything, except for the, the loot that we, we saw earlier. All right, so now I know the next time I'm coming here to just rush. It just goes straight for the big loot. Now I know, because so I'm not seeing anything worth my while in here at all. Um, hmm. I wonder what's on this side. I'm gonna check out this side. This is a bathroom, okay. That just goes that way. Okay. Well, we got metal supplies. Which is good. Never bad to have some meds, bros. Never ever bad. I think that's it though. And then we just go down here. And we uh, we head home. Huh. Cool. All right. Let's go to the trader. Look at those mountains. Those are crazy. I like this though. I like this. I'm definitely down for another nighttime quest for sure. But it'll be after the raid. Actually, we can't do a nighttime quest. Because we have uh we got four night tonight, so we can't do a nighttime quest. Bummer. But uh hopefully we get like another tier three quest though. Of course we are, but like in this town. I want to adventure in this town a little bit more. It's my first time in this town, you know. We've been in another town for tier one, tier two. It's time for do adventure in a new town, bros. It's time for a new adventure. New adventure. We're back home. I already put the stuff inside of the inventory, and I want to make this motorcycle before uh <clears throat> before we end the episode today. I want to make this motorcycle just so we can actually like get it started. So to make this motorcycle, we're gonna make the handlebars, my friend. So which we need these electrical parts, headlight, duct tape, and mechanical. What you call it? So uh we're already gonna need the engine. Might as well just take that out. And just take that out too. We need that, that, might need that, I don't know, um, definitely gonna need that, definitely gonna need that, and, da, 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 da. something else, duct tape, um, hmm. what else do we need, no, we need for this, we're missing leather, alright, and that's, I believe, yeah, there we go, I believe that's pretty much everything, right, so, motor how long is this gonna take two minutes isn't bad actually uh oh 
We need one duct tape, bro. We're, we're down one measly duct tape. Let's make that real quick. We need this. I think we might actually need to make it cloth. Do we have glue? Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't we... Yeah, we made glue in here. Awesome. Duct tape. There we go. So, yeah, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. What are you making? You're making the chassis, which means I need to make the handlebars. There we go. And then after we get both of those, we'll be able to make the motorcycle, right? Yeah, that's all we're missing. We got ourselves a brand new motorcycle. Let's go. You know what I'm actually going to do while we're waiting for this motorcycle to get done? I want to kill stuff so we can get ourselves a lot of food because I am constantly running out of food. Oh, you know what? Let's take our last trip with our bike. We're going to take this is going to be the very last trip we're going to take on this bike to go to our friendly Trader Bob. It's going to be our last ever trip. This is going to be us saying goodbye to the bicycle for the rest of our lives. It's not Mr. Bicycle. You treated us well. You got us from place to place. Quick, fast, hurry, efficiently. It must be my lucky day. Oh my, Thank oh my, a SWAT helmet. Holy crap. We got a level five AK, so we don't need that. A SWAT helmet, bro. <laughs> like what? Heavy armor rating, armor crit resistance, explosion resistance. This is crazy. What helmet do we already have on? Uh. Oh my, that's a major upgrade. Yes, please. You've made my day. You've made mine. Your payment. Thank you, sir. I really do appreciate that. Um, I guess the next thing we could do is a clear zombies. I don't think that won't be bad. It's rare to find yeah, let's do this clear zombies. Hopefully our motorcycle's done by now. You didn't hear that, Mr. Bike. I did not say hopefully our motorcycle is done. I love you, Mr. Bike. You're going to be forever inside of our house because we like to keep you safe. We don't want to take you on these dangerous missions with us anymore because we don't want to lose you. You know, zombies, they love to take bicycles and ride them. And 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 and, and we don't want them to take you, Mr. Bicycle. No, don't lean over like that, Mr. B I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Bicycle, but I, I need it. And trust me, this is for the greater good. This is, we're going to keep you right here, okay? That's your new spot, Mr. Mr. Bicycle, okay? You're going to stay there. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. We're, we're, you know, we're just keeping you safe from the zombies and from the monsters out there that want to eat your brain. Okay? Even though you don't have a brain, they want to eat your brain. On the flip side, your boy's got a SWAT helmet now. Heck yeah. But we're looking, ooh, we look like a biker. We look like a freaking biker right now, bro. Got a SWAT helmet, the jacket, the, the little whatever that is, the shades, you know? I wonder if there's any other attachments I could put on this. Maybe a skull cap mod? I think that'll be uh, pretty good. That'll help us keep us like warm and stuff. All right? Cold resistance. Yeah, that'll help us out a lot. Heck yeah, bro. Let's go. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's actually nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put all of our resources back in here, and uh, we are we are going to prepare for the for the new the new arrival of our best friend, Mr. Motorcycle. That's what we're gonna be preparing for. Forgot I don't already have these resources in here, so I can't just like automatically put them in. Um, here we go. I think we'll probably need everything else that's in here, right? Let's put the armor away. Put that over there. Yeah, all right. Give it to me. Give it to me. Where are you? Oh, 30 seconds. There she is. The motorcycle. The motorcycle. I love it, bro. We definitely got to take a trip on this, bro. Definitely going to be taking a big trip on this. Hey, it was white. I like that. It looks so clean. Make sure you guys tune into the next episode. I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace.